Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a size comparison between the standard and the small size of the Persil 714 Steve McQueen sunglasses. So first off, let's pop on the standard size. And these sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. And Persil found that the standard size was still a little big for a lot of people, so they decided to make a smaller size. So again, these are the 54 millimeter size, and this is the standard size, not the large size. Persil does not make a large large size of these personal Steve McQueen sunglasses. They only make a small size and a standard size. And again, this is the standard 54 millimeter sunglasses. But now we're gonna take a look at the small size and these sunglasses have 52 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. So there's only a two millimeter difference between these and the standard size. But as you guys can see, they really do look very different to each other. So here are the 52 millimeter sunglasses. And I'll give you guys a quick little 180 to see how these look on my my face and then we're gonna pop back on the standard size which have 54 millimeter lenses so again this is the 52 small size and then the standard size is right here with 54 millimeter lenses so I'll give you guys a quick little 180 of these on face as well and you can definitely see there is a pretty big difference even though it is only a two millimeter difference in size. They are quite different from each other. Now, as far as everything else goes on these frames, they are basically identical to each other other than the lens size. So both these sunglasses do fold up nicely and can fit in the pocket very well. The smaller size really doesn't fold into a smaller form factor than the standard size, but I will be giving you guys a quick little demonstration of what both these sunglasses look folded if that does matter to you. So again, here is the small and then here is the standard size. And again, you barely can tell a difference because it is only two millimeters, but they both do fold in the exact same form factor. They also both do feature the Miflecto stem system, which helps these sunglasses bend out and give a custom fit to the face. And that actually works really good for me with the small size because the small size is just a tiny bit small for my face, but this Miflecto stem system actually bends out just like this and allows these sunglasses to give a custom fit to my face and allows me to slide these sunglasses on with almost no discomfort at all. So with the smaller size of sunglasses, I definitely need a little bend from the Miflecto stem system to allow me to wear these sunglasses comfortably on face for long periods of time. But if we take a look here at the standard size, we can see they really don't bend out and the Miflecto stem system really isn't working nearly as hard on these sunglasses as they are on the standard size. So in summation, both these sunglasses do fit my face pretty decently. I think that the standard size gives that classic personal Steve McQueen look much more than the smaller size does on my particular face shape. So I think for me, I'm gonna stick with these 54 millimeter sunglasses. But if you do have a smaller head, I think you might want to choose these 52 millimeter sunglasses and you're still going to get that oversized sunglass look but these sunglasses might actually stick on your face where a lot of people have issues with these larger 54 millimeter sunglasses falling off their face because they're just simply too wide for their face but that's my opinion i am definitely interested in what you guys have to say about this do you guys like these smaller 52 millimeter sunglasses or do you like the larger 54 millimeter sunglasses on my face like i said i am very interested in what you guys have to say so please do leave that in the comment section down below and i'm also going to add a poll up here in the information cards where you guys can vote whether you like the 52 or the 54 millimeter sunglasses. So please do go ahead and make sure to vote. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.